Well, Jason, thank you very much for joining us here in Tehran. Uh, some four months since the last camp with the Socceroos, but it seems as though you've gone from strength to strength again. How are you finding things at Burton? Yeah, uh, it's getting to the nitty gritty end of the season now. Eight games to go. Still uh, pushing in a, to, you know, for, for survival. Been on a really good run of late. Um, Form-wise, we went sort of six or seven games unbeaten over the last few weeks. Um, unfortunately, that came to an end on Saturday, but uh, you know, we've picked up, hopefully, uh, a run of form that will see us through the end of the season. Do you feel as though now, uh, in this soccer setup, you're as better positioned as what you ever have been in terms of really laying down a marker for a starting 11 spot? Yeah, I think so. Um, it's, it's a difficult one because each camp, each gap in between each camp gives you a chance to go back to your club and uh, find a new vein of form that will, you know, first of all, make yourself available for selection and then hopefully be a part of the boss's, boss's plans for the games. But, uh, you know, my approach has always been the same. Uh, just, you know, try and keep playing as many games as possible and, and, and trying to learn and develop. And, and if that sees me, be a part of, uh, of the Socceroos squad and, and, and starting team, then, then uh, you know, that's a reward for your form. Now we saw you make uh, a cameo against the Rark the last time around uh, in this qualification process in Perth. What do you remember about that game and the, the difficulties that the Rark uh, posed? Yeah, every game is difficult uh, in these qualifiers. Every team has, has something to offer and uh, most teams will set out to make it difficult for us uh, knowing that uh, in the way that we want to play and trying to, trying to counteract against that. But yeah, I think the game was all going to be about scoring the first goal um, you know, I think it was nil all at half time and I think we could all feel that once we got uh, the first goal that that would sort of open up the game and, and uh, we did and we had another couple of chances before the, before the second and then the second one went in and I think it was pretty much smooth sailing from, from there on. Well, just finally Jackson and, and on that, at the end of this calendar year, Australia's World Cup fate will be known. Uh, going to Russia or otherwise. Has the gravity of how soon that is approaching really started to sink in with the players? I think so. I think we all recognise, you know, even after these two games and this two weeks, with three games to go after that, it, it is all happening really suddenly. And uh, But we're all prepared. We, we know we know our jobs and, uh, you know, we know that, the, as, as I say, we've, we're all beginning to grasp the gravity of what it is that we're trying to achieve. And, I think we're fully prepared to, to battle and, and win those games that, that will get us to Russia.